Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Myself Manjeet Kaur and today we will see how to create radio buttons in UiPath Studio. For the users, in order to select any of the button and hence proceed with the further activities. So what I have done, I have created two sequences, one as a general Google search and other one as incognito search. So what it will do in general Google search, this robot will open a browser Google and then search for Eiffel Tower. Similarly, in the second sequence in incognito Google search, the bot will open up the browser in the incognito window inside the Chrome browser and hence perform the similar steps that we have done in a general Google browser. Now, what we want, we want the user to select whether he want to do this particular search in the general browser or in an incognito browser. So this is a very general example. This might not be used in your projects, in your real world projects. But I have created this kind of an example just to make you more clear about how to create radio buttons and how the whole process will run up. Now, uh, what we will do, we will go for the main XML and we will try to create a flowchart. So we will drag and drop the flowchart activity onto our working area and when we will double click on the flowchart we will get to see the start button. Now we want the users to have a pop-up window in which they select whether they want a general browser or whether they have to go to a incognito browser. So it will be up to the user what he selects. So. So till now we don't have any variables in the main flowchart. Now what we will do, we will drag and drop the input dialog box activity. So we will open up this input dialog and we will see that there are two fields in the input dialog. First is the title and second one is the label. So if we have a pop-up, the title will be the title of the pop-up window and the label would be the text that the user will be shown. So adding the title. Select one and in label, please select the search option. These both are strings, so we need to give it into inverted commas. Now, we try to run this. So first save till this and run. So yeah, we are getting a pop-up window and the input dialog box has a text field inside it. But this is not what we want. We wanted radio buttons to choose between the two. So for the time being, I am writing incognito and pressing OK. So now what we have to do, we have to create radio buttons. And for that, we have to go to the property window of the input dialog. And in the options inside the input tab, there is options and you need to click it. This is a list of string options and what you have to do, you have to create the string as a list and you need to give the options that you want that would be created as a radio button. So first I'm in general search. General keep it simple and incognito browser and general browser like 
it is easy for the user to understand okay and pressing ok now we want the user selects one option and store that option in one of the variables so what we have to do we have to go to the results tab press ctrl plus k this will create a variable and you can name the variable like options or i am giving chosen option underscore option this is the name that i am giving to the variable so click enter and the variable would be created now we will go to the variables tab see what kind of a variable type it has it has a string type so it will store string value so we want to see whether it is fetching the right value or not for that we, we can see using the log activity go to info type chosen option and go to the main tab now we will press run and we will see whether it is doing the right thing or not and yes it is we have got the pop-up window having radio buttons in order to select any one of these please search the search of okay so i have written something wrong here uh, we can correct it so first i will cross it and correct please select the search option it was not search the search option please select the search option so now going to the main tab, starting it again, and yes, radio button straighted as we have seen. So now we can select any one of these. I'm going for the general browser now, clicking OK, and when we will go to the output tab, we will see that general browser is selected in in the log message it is logging that which uh, variable we have chosen so we have chosen general browser right now we will remove the log message we have created radio buttons the task of this video is over but we will go further and segregate the task like if the user chose this then what happens else what happens okay so for that we will use if activity and add on to after the input dialog we will double click the if activity we will get a condition and a then an else block in the condition we have to give if if we have chosen option is equal to the general browser then what we have to do we have to go for the general search and else we have to go for the incognito search so we will go to the project tab we have already created two sequences naming general google search and incognito google search we will drag and drop the general google search in the then block and incognito google search in the else block and we will save it running it okay so they are asking me to select the search option going for the general browser clicking OK and what it will do it is doing what it was supposed to do crossing this window and now checking for the else part run it again now we have to choose incognito browser so we will choose this press OK and yes the task is completed we can go to else and then blocks easily 
so closing this tab as well so this is complete if you like this channel do subscribe it if you have any questions regarding this tool you can ask in the comment section below and have a nice day